I strongly support an in infrastructure status for real estate development in India. Why is that? Uh, basically because uh, it entitles us to easier access to finance. Uh, it creates a lot of, uh, it removes a lot of hurdle uh, for developers. That is one thing. So finance and regulatory hurdles, that might be much, much more minimal if we have that infrastructure status. SEZ is, uh, has been there in some form is what I understand five years back. Uh, it used to have two processing zones. One was the Mumbai processing zone, another one was Chennai and Cochin. So it was there, but it was not a sector specific thing. So after the sector specific focus has come in, uh, industry has seen tremendous growth uh, in terms of uh, uh, attracting new investment into destinations. Uh, going forward, uh, we need to create larger land banks under the free trade zone. Uh, or the SEZ scheme which government should take an active, proactive role. And uh, they will also have to look at it uh, from a multifaceted industry, just not restricted to IT, but multi-product SEZ of larger size. Government can come in as a joint venture partner, they can bring in the asset as land and they can also co-create people to come and set up there. So that can be a good scheme to consider for the next 15 years. If I have to take it uh, uh, one segment, the, especially the labor class, I think so there are no finishing schools or training centers which can create a mason at this point of time or teach a painter the technique. Uh, these are people who come there, work and learn it the hard way. Uh, if uh, we can bring that under some program, government has already initiated a national skill development program. So that would address a large gap. But construction sector should be the focus of national skill development program. Architects, I hear there is a huge shortage. Uh, in fact, yesterday's uh, Bangalore IT uh, seminar, we were talking about a shortage of about 120,000 architects. We are talking about shortage of 400,000 civil engineers. Uh, we are talking about city, town, city and town planners. There's a huge shortage. So those are areas where government should come up with some educational scheme and boot this impetus further, especially from a perspective because in the next 30 years, I'm told there is going to be 600 million people moving into urbanized areas, especially in India and China. So if we'll have to be a knowledge economy for the next 20, 30 years, this will be a very, very key thing for us to look forward to create uh, people, create stakeholders like architects, project managers, uh, construction workers, and the builders. Every, everyone has to come together on a single platform and make this happen so that we are successful on the long run.